Mississippi Detective Brian Reed of the West Memphis Police Department currently in the West Memphis Police Department conducting an investigation for the offense of triple homicide, case file number 9305-0666. Currently in the office with Jesse Lloyd and Kelly Jr., first day 17 of 75, education as a ninth grade. The place we are in the detective division today's date is 6-3 of 93. The time now is 2.44 p.m. Present in the interview will be Inspector Gary Gitchell and Jesse and Ms. Kelly. Jesse, in front of me I have a rights form. Uh, it's got your signature at the bottom of it. Is that career, your signature? Yes, sir. Okay. We are informing you that we are Detective Sergeant Mike Allen and Detective Brian Ridge. Now, Detective Sergeant Mike Allen is the one that read this form to you earlier. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And I was here when he read it to you. Yes, sir. All right. Police officers of the West Memphis Police Department. We are conducting an investigation for the offense of capital felony murder, which was committed on or about 5-5 of 93. Before we ask you any questions, you must know and understand your legal rights. Therefore, we want and advise you that you have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes. And those are your initials on the line in front of that statement? Yes, it is. Okay. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. And those are your initials? Yes, it is. Uh, you have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and have him with you during questioning. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. And those are your initials? Yes, it is. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish no cost to you. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. And those are your initials? Yes, it is. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. you understand that? Yes, I do. Those are your initials? Yes, it is. You're up here of your own free will. You right. came up here to answer some questions, and basically we found out some information during those questions. Is that correct? Yes, I do. Okay. At the bottom of this form is a waiver of rights. It says, I have read the statement of my rights, and I understand what my rights are. I am willing to make a statement and answer questions. I do not want a lawyer at this time. I understand and know what I am doing. No promises or threats have been made to me, and no pressure or force has been used against me. Is all that correct? Yes, it is. Okay. And you signed the bottom of the form? Yes, I did. Okay. Witnessed by Michael Wayne Allen and myself, Detective Brian Ridge. Okay, Jesse, let's, let's go straight to that date, 5-5 of 93, okay, Wednesday, early in the morning. You received a phone call, is that correct? Yes, I did. And who made that phone call? Jason Boston. All right, what occurred? What did he talk about? He called me and asked me could I go, uh, go to West Memphis with him, and I told him no, I had to work. And then he told me he had to go to West Memphis, so him and Damien went, and then I went with them. All right, when? Wednesday. All right, when did you go with them? <coughs> that morning. At 9 o'clock in the morning? Yes, it is. Okay. I went with them, and then I... Now, were you in a car? Whose car were you on? We walked. You walked? Okay. We're, uh, we walked, and then... Uh, where did you go? We went to Robin Hood. You went to the Robin Hood. Okay. Explain to me where those woods are. By a uh, Blue Beacon truck wash. Just a little patch of woods. A little patch of woods. Behind Blue Beacon? Behind it. Right back there, behind it. Okay. What occurred while you were there? When I was there, I saw Damien hit this one, hit this one boy real bad. And then, uh, then he started screwing him and stuff. And then, uh, all right, you've got in front of you a picture that was taken out of the newspaper, I believe. It's got three boys, and these are the three boys that were killed on that day in Robin Hood Woods. Okay, which one of those three boys is it you say Damien hit? The third picture, which will be... This boy right here? Yeah. All right, that's uh, the buyer's boy. That's who you're pointing at? Mm -hmm. If you read the captions, the grizzly slain from left, eight-year-old Michael Moore, Stephen Branch, and Christopher Byers. Okay. So, you saw Damien strike Chris Byers in the head. Right. What did he hit him with? 
you hit him with his fist and bruised him all up real bad. And then the Jason turned around and hit Steve Branch. Okay. And started doing the same thing. Then the other one took off. Michael O. Moore took off running. So I chased him and grabbed him and held him to they got there and then I left. Okay. All right. When you get the boys back together, where are you at from the creek? I was up by the uh, service road. Up by the service road? Okay. Now, when this, when he hits the first boy, where are they at when he, when he hits him? Are you in the woods? Are you on the side of the big bow? you out in the field? Where are you at? In the woods. In the woods. Okay, you've been down there in those woods before. Uh, Can you describe to me what in those woods, what's the location where you were? Uh, is there a path you go down? I was down in the path. All right, where does that path go to? It leads out there close to the uh, field, close to the interstate. Okay. Up where I was at. All right. Close, close by the interstate. When he hits the first boy, and then Jason hits another boy, and one takes off running, yeah, where does he run to? That one, he runs out, going out the, out the park, and I chased him and grabbed him and brought him back. Which way does he go, I mean? Does he go on back towards where the houses he are? Is he back. going to Blue Beacon? Is he going out towards the field? He Where's he running to? Towards the houses. Towards the houses. Where the pipe is that goes across the water? Yeah. Okay. He ran out there, and I, and I called him and brought him back, and then I took off. Okay. Well, you came back a little bit later, and all three boys are tied. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah, I took off and went home. All right. Have they got their clothes on when you saw them tied? Yeah, they had them off. They had already gotten them off. When he first hit the boy, when Damien first hit the first boy, did they have their clothes on then? Mm -hmm. All right. When did they take their clothes off? Right, right after they beat up all three of them. And beat them up real bad. Beat them up real bad. And then they took their clothes off. Mm -hmm. and then, they, then they tied them. Then they tied them up, tied their hands up. They start screwing them and stuff, cutting mm -hmm. them and stuff. And I saw it and I turned around and looked. And then I took off running. I went home. And mm -hmm. they called me and asked me how come I didn't stay. I told them I just couldn't. You just couldn't stay for that? I couldn't stand. They, what they were doing to them. Okay. Now, when it's going on, when it's taking place, you under, you saw somebody with a knife. Who had a knife? Jason. Jason had a knife. What did he cut with a knife? What did you see him cut, or who did you see him cut? I saw him cut one of the little boys. All right. Where did he cut him at? He was cutting him in the face. Cutting him in the face. All right. Another boy was cut, I understand. Where was he cut at? At the bottom. On his bottom? Was he face down and he was cutting on him or? <coughs> now you're talking about bottom, do you mean right here? Mm -hmm. In his groin area? Okay. So oh, you know what his penis is? Yeah. That's where he was cut at. That's where he was cut. Which mm -hmm. boy was that? That right there. Look, you're talking about the buyer's boy mm -hmm. again? Okay. Are you sure that he was the one that was cut? That's when I said I'm cutting on. Okay. Right, do you know what a penis is? Yeah. All right, is that where he was cutting? That's why I said I'm going down there. And he was on his back. I said I'm going down there like real close to his penis and stuff. And I saw some blood and that's when I took off. Was, so, uh, were y'all close to the creek at that point? Yes. Where, where was the little boy actually at? He was close. About. All right, you know where the bio is. Right. All right, and you know where the little creek is that goes out to the expressway. And it doesn't have a lot of water in it, but it's got some water in it, and it's flowing through there. Which side of that creek were you on? Were you on the Memphis side of the creek, or were you on the Blue Beacon side of that creek? Blue Beacon. On the Blue Beacon. Mm -hmm. So there's like a tall bank. Were you? Where were you at on that bank? I was up at, stand up at the top. All right, where were they at? hear any more hollering or anything? No. Alright. You went home. And about what time was it 
that all this was taking place. They called me about. I'm not saying when they called you. I'm saying what time was it that you were actually there in the park? I was there about 12. About noon? Mm -hmm. Okay. Was it after school? I let out? I didn't go to school. Well, these no, other boys. No, they, they skipped school. They skipped school? They were going to catch their bus or stuff, and they was on their bikes. So. All right. They were on their bikes. Where were their bikes at? They, they laid their bikes down when they came out there to the... When they, when they hollered for them and told them to come out there. Where, the, where did they lay their bikes down? That's what I'm asking. I don't know where they laid their bikes at down there. Because I was, I was behind Danny and them, way, way behind them. Okay. And when they hollered, then I see them boys. The little boys came on over. Mm -hmm. Had Damien seen these boys before? Yeah. Has he done things with them before? Has he just been watching them? He's Has he been had watching, sex with them before? Them. Has he ever had sex with any of them no, before? He's been watching them. He's been watching. You mentioned earlier that at one of the meetings you went to with this cult thing, they had some pictures. Describe those pictures for me. They had, had some houses, the trees and stuff. Okay. Had somebody taken pictures of these boys? Mm-hmm. Were they in the houses or were they in these trees when they took those pictures? They were at the houses. At the houses. Did they take like one picture of one boy? It was in a group. Always three? It was a group of pictures of three. All okay. three of them. All three of them would generally be together. Mm -hmm. How many pictures did you see all together? I just saw one. Okay. And it had these same three boys in it? Mm -hmm. You're certain of that? Nate, did you say the boys skipped school that day? These little boys did? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? They was going to catch up, going somewhere, and like I said, David, Damien and them left before I did. I told them I'd meet them there and stuff. I had to get ready and stuff. I'd meet them there. And it was early in the morning, so they went ahead and meet, met me up. They went ahead and went up there, and then I came up, you know, later on behind them. What time did you get there?